I finally unlocked Atomic Camo and today I want to give you tips for the camo challenges that I've been doing everyone's head in and that is for the Panzerfoss and we're going to start right now. Hey everyone, Oli Godspeed here bringing you another camo grind video and for those of you that are new here, I hope you learned something new and if you do, make sure you hit that like button to help with the algorithm and consider subscribing if you want to see more. Both of these challenges can be done together in the one match. And let's talk about the long shots first. I initially thought that this camo challenge was bugged because it wasn't getting tracked. But the reason was because you need to actually get direct impacts for long shots to make it count towards the camo. So in a way, I guess it is bugged and extremely frustrating, don't get me wrong. Now, I've always been a hardcore fan when doing camo grinds, but for this particular one, you have to head to core. If you play hardcore, majority of the players will just die to the splash damage and you need to get direct impact kills. Make sure you run ammo boxes to replenish your rockets and utilize the Shiphouse 24-7 playlist while it's still there. I've had the most success with long shots in the hallways of Darcy House or if you go to the room opposite the staircase facing the A flag spawn and shooting into the spawn you have also have a good chance of getting direct impact kills as they try to get out of spawn. I just shoot two rockets and if I don't get the kill I just gammon bomb myself twice and reset the life until I get the ammo box at that point. Once I use the ammo box completely, I reset the life yet again. I also recommend aiming down sight. It definitely was more accurate, longer ranges while aiming down the sights. And this challenge is easier than it sounds. And I didn't take that long to be honest. You just have to switch off your brain and grind it out. I know prior to the update some people played plunder to do the long shots. However, I'm shadow banned. So I couldn't try out the plunder method even if I wanted to. And as a result, I don't even know if it still works to be honest. Now for the destroy the three enemy killstreaks in one game challenge. Firstly, I tried against friendly dogs in hardcore, but it didn't work unlike the destroy 50 ground killstreaks where the teammates dogs counter towards the camera progression. Now I don't know if that still works or not because after the update it, they could have patched it. Uh, I did mine a while ago, so let me know if it does still work. Now the biggest and the best tip I can give you is that you don't actually need to kill three attack or guard dogs. All you need to do is destroy two UAVs with your gun and then the last one has to be an attack dog or a guard dog and then this will crown towards your uh, camo progression. And this will save you a ton of time and you can easily finish this challenge in no time. Now the best way to kill these dogs is to melee which stuns them and stops them from attacking you. And it only takes two melees on attack dogs and I think guard dogs is like five, six or seven shots with your melee. Now once you complete this then you can leave the match and rinse repeat. The gun I used with this was the MG42 with armor piercing rounds and you can take out UABs pretty quickly. Also a fun fact, did you know you can shoot down bombing runs? Well, now you do. You can shoot down bombing runs with the MG42 quite easily actually. Now I did try shooting down two counter UAVs and then an attack dog, but that didn't count so I didn't try that again. But then again, I also meleeed four attack dogs in one game and after quitting it didn't count towards progression. So what I noticed was that in some rare instances, after you quit your game, the progression doesn't count. So I missed out on like five of them in total during my whole, you know, camo grind. So if you're worried about this happening to you just continue doing your long shots with the Panzerfaust instead of quitting and finish the game off. So to summarize you basically go into Das House you can also do it in shipment but I found it easier on Das House for the long shots make sure it's domination and not TDM because the games last longer and there's a higher chance of your enemies to get attack dogs and your primary should be an LMG or whatever gun you want to use with armor piercing rounds I personally use the MG42 and you go for long shots with your Panzerfaust. As soon as you hear enemy recon overhead, you shoot it down with your LMG. Now once you've destroyed two UAVs, you're basically waiting for either a guard dog or an attack dog to melee with the Panzerfaust. Whilst you continue to do your long shots in the meantime. Now once you melee a guard dog or an attack dog, then you quit the game and rinse repeat. The hardest thing is firstly, hoping your enemies use attack dogs as their kill streaks, and secondly, you hope they get it. Now, if you don't care about your KD, just feed them as much as possible, and if they're half decent, they will end up getting attack dogs or guard dogs, right? And the funniest thing though is that, that kept happening to me at least, was I would either go AFK and watch YouTube or TikTok as I wait for dogs to be called in, 
um, or I would feed the enemy team. And 90% of the time, my teammates are the ones that get the dogs, not the enemies, even though I'm feeding them every single kill. It was quite upsetting, actually. Uh, but yeah, and that's the end of the video, guys. I hope this helped you. And if it did, make sure you like the video and let me know in the comments below where you are with the atomic grind and what you would like to see next. And I'll see you all very soon.